what are you looking forward to most for the spring practice session or for the blue white game specifically? Yeah, you know, just getting better and uh, finding out what everyone's all about, and uh, you know, just just really letting everything come together for the fall. Any run-on linebackers sticking out to you? I mean, with the thin linebacker depth, you know, any guys that might have to be relied on early this year? Yeah, Adam Cole's doing a really good job from Pittsburgh. Uh, you know, he, he's not afraid to hit you. He makes makes some good plays, and he's always in the right spot at the right time. Any, yep. Anyone else sticking out to you? Uh, you know, Gary Wooten, he's, he's not a run-on, but he, he's a great player, and uh, he's been doing really well this spring. I think Carson mentioned Matt Bainey. This oh, yeah, yeah, Bainey from uh, where he was from St. Fran came from St. Francis. Okay. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Have you been asked to pace yourselves differently because of that? Because of the depth issue, or not, you know, not hit as much, or something like that. Uh, yeah, they'll they'll uh, take us out of some drills and, and things like that, just because it, it's important to be healthy coming into the fall. But uh, that's just that's just how it is. How much is that? How much different is that from last year? Uh, it's a lot different because I mean, usually we're just hitting heads all the time. But uh, you know, it's better to be smart and uh, and not kill yourselves and. Mm -hmm and uh, get the mental reps and get better as a team and stay healthy. How has this spring been different for you, kind of running with the first team? Uh, I mean, it's, it's a little bit different because I was a role player last year. Now I'm kind of uh, expected to do everything, and I'm ready for that challenge. And, and, you know, it's been great so far. Really enjoyed it. Which position are you playing? I'm playing Sam. Is that where you played last year yeah, as well? Yeah, I played yeah, Sam last year. Really and then I played Will uh, last the last game for Mike. Hey, Mike, uh, as far as uh, the Russian defense is concerned, what are some areas that you think you guys need to work on the most in terms of stopping the run? Um, stopping the run, I mean, we just can't get driven off the ball at the point of attack. Nebraska did a great job of uh, driving us off the ball last year. And, uh, you know, I think we need to get turnovers whatever we can. What is it the uh, as far as the point of the attack thing, like what exactly can you do to prevent that from happening? We just got to fit the run, our run responsibilities the right way, um, make everything spill to the outside, can't let people get downhill on us. I've heard of, uh, you guys talk a lot about creating fumbles, creating more turnovers. Is there any type of drill or anything you work specifically on to, to help create more turnovers? Yeah, we do drills all the time, strip drills, and uh, also, you know, every time you, you make a tackle or thud someone up in practice, just ripping at the ball just, just to reinforce the idea. Going off of that, what have the thud drills kind of been like this this year? What's the intensity level with the with the thud drills? Uh, basically, it's the same as you know a live drill. You're you're getting off the blocks, doing everything full speed, and then you're just keeping the running back up at the end. And there have been sc scrimmages where it's been full contact. Yeah, yeah. What about the intensity there? What's what's it like to? Uh, it's always intense whenever we uh, whenever we get a live period, and uh, you know guys are competing, and we're all working hard, and it's, it's pretty cool. In the past, defense kind of has been ahead of the offense in terms of. Of, you know, recognize the playbook yeah, really and getting, you know, getting adjusted. Do you feel that's the way that's the the way this year, or is the offense kind of ahead of itself? Uh, the offense is definitely a lot further ahead than it was last year, but I still think the defense has a little bit of an edge just because uh, Coach Butler's done a great job and, and uh, kept the scheme pretty similar to last year. Describe his intensity. What's Coach Butler like? You know, he does, he only has one voice, and that's 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 loud. Uh, he's always he's always. Uh, one guy that you're hearing the stream, and but we all, we all like it, and he's a great coach. Whenever it comes down to it, have people gotten to doing imitations of him yet? Because it seems like only a matter of time if somebody's out loud that that guy. Will. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, the only imitation you can really do is just scream all the time. So. <laughs> hey, what can you tell us about Glenn Carson? He's a guy who's kind of been overlooked here the last couple of years, but he's been what a three-year starter now. You know, calling out those signals and stuff. What can you tell us about him? Yeah, I mean, he's just a rock-solid, solid guy. Uh, you know. He does get overlooked because he's done a great job in the middle uh, over the last few years, 85 tackles last year. And, uh, you know, I mean, we're, we're really good friends, and, uh, you know, just, he's just a great player overall. And Naeem Wartman, we haven't really seen a lot. Of, we saw a little bit of him early last year, but you see him every day. What does he bring to the table? Uh, he's a really athletic kid, great in pass coverage. And, uh, you know, he's really instinctual, so he just needs to keep getting better, and he's done a great job so far. We see those strength numbers in there. We look at the, the bench press leaders and see all these big offensive linemen, and then there's one linebacker in there. What, have you always excelled at that sort of thing? Yeah, I mean, well, being from Pittsburgh, people were saying if, if you aren't benching, you're not really lifting. So, <laughs> so uh, whenever you grow up in Pittsburgh, that's kind of the thing that you do. You just always benching, doing some presses all the time. So. What was your max before you got here? Do you know? Uh, I never really maxed out, but I could I could rep uh, probably 285 about 10, 12 times. And when when you first got here, obviously, I, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think they do the same kind of benching and stuff that you're doing now. How much of a change has it been, and how much have you enjoyed that? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, 
we didn't really have the type of weight program we do now, and uh, it, it's been great. I really, really enjoy the weight program, and I think our team overall has benefited from it. So. To get your name up on that board in there, how, uh, how, how important is that? How much of a motivator is it to... To, to be listed up there because that seems like a pretty cool thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a great thing because, I mean, it just shows that all your hard work in the offseason pays off. You know, sometimes uh, it gets gets pretty grueling in the winter. You, you know, you uh, doubt yourself, but then at the end, whenever it all pays off on max day, I mean, you feel good. Where do you have to get better? Where have you, what have you been focusing on this spring? Um, mostly just uh, being strong at the point of attack and uh, my getting off blocks in the run. Thanks, Mike. Yep, thank you.